deep in the Pacific Ocean, thousands of miles from the rest of the world, lies the island chain known today as Hawaii. Since its formation by a series of volcanic eruptions 30 million years ago, Hawaii has been home to a rich and vast ecosystem of marine, plant, and animal life, much of which cannot be found anywhere else on the planet. Today, the islands boast the presence of over 25,000 unique species, making it one of the most biologically diverse areas on the planet. Hawaii is home to such a rich assortment of creatures for much of the same reason why it is such a popular tourist destination today, namely its temperate atmosphere and isolation from the rest of the world. Although just 4,000 local honey remain in Hawaii, it is one of the few places in the world where the numbers are improving, up 5.4% since the turn of the century. Included in the at-risk biodiversity of Hawaii's marine life are over 40 species of shark, 680 species of fish, and 5 species of sea turtle, the creature most iconic to the islands. While Hawaii is also home to the loggerhead, hawksbill, leatherback, and olive ridley sea turtle species, the vast majority of interactions with the island's native turtles are with the green sea turtle, known locally as the honia. Unlike other species of sea turtles, which are reclusive and typically stay in the water, the green sea turtle must come near shore to feed off limu, the algae that grow on rocks along the shoreline, as well as to bask in the sun twice a day to regulate their body temperature. Hawaii is one of the most unique places in the world where turtles do that, um, where they you know, deliberately crawl out of the water and sleep on the sand and the beach. You know, They don't really do that anywhere else. Just like the millions of tourists that come to visit the beautiful islands every year, green sea turtles migrate from all over the world to bask on the tropical shores and feed. Although the green sea turtle can be found along the shorelines of over 80 countries, none are as hospitable to the majestic creatures as the Hawaiian Isles. While many of the threats facing the green sea turtle have been a part of their delicate ecosystem for millions of years, the vast majority of the recent decline in turtle populations can be attributed directly to human involvement. As international fishermen start coming in closer and closer and closer, they start grabbing all the turtles. Yet they wanted the shells so that they can make the jewelry. Prior to that, it was for the food. The turtles here, some of them have tumors on the back of their necks, which are from human interaction. It's from people picking up the turtle. The turtles can't handle the same type of uh, skin contact as humans can. So when we touch a turtle, we may spread a virus to them. As a result of the devastating effect mankind has had on our oceans, the green sea turtle population worldwide has declined about 90% in the last 50 years. It remains legal to kill sea turtles for their flesh and shells in 42 territories around the world, including Australia and Japan. It is estimated that over 40,000 sea turtles are legally captured and killed every year, about 80% of which are green sea turtles. As of today, green sea turtles are classified as threatened or endangered in every single territory where they can be found.
The measures taken by the Hawaiian people to protect their local green sea turtle populations are vast, involving hundreds of volunteers wishing only to give these gentle giants a fighting chance. What we like about Lani and Kea is that we have a volunteer program and a network that, that sort of is there to malama or take care of the turtles there and, and to promote um, educational outreach and give information to the visitors that come that want to see turtles. And so they learn things about the animals themselves. They learn things about individual stories. Each turtle is well monitored and well tracked and we know their stories, whether they are migrators to the Northwesterns or you know if they're juveniles that have just recently shown up. This green sea turtle is one of the dozens that frequent Laniakea Beach, known also as Turtle Beach due to its popularity among the local Honu. This particular turtle was identified by the distinctive markings on its face as being a local, named JP, in honor of Joanne Pettigrew, the founder of Malama na Honu, a nonprofit organization that works to protect the green sea turtles. JP is 180 pounds and considered an adolescent at around 25 years old. If he's lucky and Malama Nahonu succeeds in his goal of protecting him, he could live to be over 90. While the green sea turtle's role in Hawaii's delicate ecosystem cannot be understated, much of the reason why such efforts are undertaken to protect them lie in the cultural significance of the green sea turtle to the native Hawaiians. are actually part of our amakua. So amakua is our religious belief. Uh, we, a lot of Hawaiian, Kanaka, indigenous, native uh, people believe that when we pass away, some of our ancestors come back as spirit animals. So kind of similar to Native American uh, practices. So we always want to protect our amakua because you know this, this could be our family that's swimming right next to us. And um, you just, you always want to respect nature. Today, these beliefs are kept alive by the descendants of these natives who still call the islands home. They hope that through the maintaining of the delicate measures keeping green sea turtle populations thriving, these creatures can continue to be a source of wonder on the Hawaiian islands for centuries to come. Every year, Hawaii loses more species to extinction per square mile than any other area on the planet Earth. As the unique species native to these islands continue to disappear over time, the danger is real that eventually the last of the Honu will vanish from the shores of Hawaii forever. No matter what the future may hold, what must not be ignored is that we all share the world with these creatures, not just the people of Hawaii. If the rest of humanity can learn to respect the green sea turtles the way they deserve, the Honu could be here to stay. I saw you in my dreams Holding hands with me On a white sandy beach of a vine We were laying in the sun Having so much fun On a white sandy beach of a vine Soothe my restless soul Sound of the ocean Rock me all night long I'll see you once again If only in my dreams On a white sandy beach Of a vine on a white sandy beach of Hawaii Sound of the ocean Soothe my restless soul Sound of the ocean Rock me all night long I'll see you once again only in my dreams on a white sandy beach 
Thank you very much. <laughs> 